Good morning, dear students. Today, we are going to continue the same chapter, Chapter 7, Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. In the last class, we have learned text formatting. Okay, children? Today, in this class, we will discuss about paragraph formatting, applying and modifying ready-made themes, replacing a specific font. Children, so for that, we have to open PowerPoint. So this is PowerPoint window. This is the slide of our presentation. Okay. In this slide, I am going to add some text. Here I am going to add subtitle. Children, now first slide of our presentation is ready. Okay. First, we are going to learn about paragraph formatting. If we are using the text which is running in two or more lines, we can apply the paragraph formattings like text alignment, bullets and numbering, and line spacing. Okay, first, text alignment. There are four text alignment options to align the text in the placeholder. Okay, children, how many alignments are there? Four alignments. What are they? Left alignment, right alignment, center alignment, and justify alignment. Okay, children. So these are the four types of alignments. Okay. How to align the text? So first we have to select the text. Okay, I am clicking. Left alignment, center alignment, right alignment, justify alignment. Okay, children, like this, we can align the text in the placeholder. Next, bullets and numbering. These two options on the paragraph group can be used to create number or bulleted list. Number list is also known as ordered list. Bulleted list is also known as unordered list. Listen children, this is bullet option and this is 
numbering option. Okay, children. So this bullet option helps to select a symbol which is to be used for marking the list items in an unordered list. Now I am clicking, see this drop button. Oh, we can have many options here. Listen children, I am moving on the various types of bullets. Here it, we can see the changes. See children, it is changing. Can you see this? So which type of bullets we need, we can select. Okay children. And then, this is numbering. Numbering button. Okay, numbering option. This option can be used to select numbering style for creating an ordered list of items. Listen children, I am clicking this drop button. See here, or here we can see many options. Which type of numbering we want to select? So we have to change it. Okay, so listen. I'm selecting. Okay, children. Now line spacing. This option in the paragraph group it can be used to change the spacing between the lines of a paragraph. Okay, children, so this is line spacing option. So you can click this drop button. We can have this numbers. Okay, these are the line spacing. By default, the line spacing is 1.0, which can be changed as needed by selecting the specific options from the extended list. Listen children, this is default line spacing, okay, 1.0 and then I am selecting this 1.5 and then 2.0. See here it is changing the line spacing, the space between these two lines, so it is changing, okay. Like this we can change the space between the lines, okay children, now the next topic, how to apply ready-made theme. Themes provide the ready-made format for the slides which can be used to quickly change the look of your presentation. Okay children, each theme has a specific set of fonts, colors and effects along with the background style which can be modified if needed. Okay, children, to apply the theme on the slides, you have to click on the design tab. In the themes group, you have to select the themes. Listen, children, here different themes are there. Okay, from here. We can select any one of the theme for our presentation. Okay. I am clicking this one. Okay. And okay. Like this, we can apply theme for our presentation. Next, modifying theme. If you want to make some changes in a pre-designed theme before applying to your presentation so you can modify its fonts, colors or line and fill effects like okay listen children here from here you can change the color of the slide. See it is changing. Okay. 
here you can click this drop button listen from here color is given from here you can change the color listen children it is changing okay so which color you need you can select that color okay then if you want to change the fonts okay so you can change the font of the slide so it is changing if you are clicking this drop button you can get more font style okay okay and then if you want to give effects or change effects means you can give effect from here okay like this and then if you want to change the background style so you have to, you have to click this option and then the background style also we can it clear children okay now the last topic replacing a specific font okay if you want to replace a specific font used in this slide with some other suitable font type okay children suppose you want to change this font type okay so you can replace this font style with another font style okay so you have to click home tab in editing group you can see this replace option so you have to click this drop button you can get this option replace font okay so you have to click that this dialog box will appear okay in this box it shows the currently used font okay now this font style is there okay so if you want to change this type so you have to click here okay if you want to replace this font with another font style so you have to click okay you can click any other type and then replace then close listen children the font style is changed now is it clear children i hope all these topics are clear to you we will meet again in the next class thank you god bless you